What would a reaction Andy say as an intro is? What would they say as an intro? It's your boy. Tell me how it is. Yamato Keenan here, reacting to the latest news. Mr. Tell you how it is. Should that be my my intro? All right, let's read the let's read the news articles, the reports. All right, so I already knew about this. I already knew I, I already knew about this deal. All right, all right, let's read through the article. Shout out to Sheep Esports. Yeah, the website is blowing up, bro. I think they've never had this much traffic, bro. This is probably the biggest story they've ever broken ever, bro. I think this this is <laughs> the ever so biggest story they've ever broken down. Fuck me, bro. Yeah, thank you very much for the prime, bro. Please never do that intro again. <laughs> oh, can we load? Can we load? Browse? Oh, how about we go from this direction? We go to the back door. Also, can, did someone post the fucking article, bro? Does anyone have the, the, the copy pasta? Does anyone have... Look, guys, keep in mind, from the people in charge are the people that decide, right? It's like, Casey decide what happens with Khaled's contract. They are first right of refusal, right? That they are the ones, it's like, they are the ones that are first to deny or accept. Um, G2 offering this, it's not crazy, guys. It's not crazy. Keep in mind how much money they would save, probably... Look, guys, I don't think Kalis is getting paid super much. They extended Kalis very early on. It was a part of the announcement when they said they're going to buy an LEC spot. And then uh, Casey got giga griefed by the fact that um, uh, you have to be uh, fucking 18 to play LEC, right? Keep in mind here, they are already offering huh, Mickey and Yak for free. And the money that they are saving from not paying Hansama's contract is probably a big part of this massive buyout. And let's be honest, Kalist is for sure a big part of the future of the LEC. It's a big part of the future of the LEC. And that's it, you know? That's it. Isn't it a little disrespectful for those three players? Why? This is just business, bro. Why, why is it disrespectful? The main thing here that you need to look at, if we remove Yaik and Miki from the equation, it's a trade of Han Sama and Kalist, and then trying to look at it, make it look better. Because keep in mind, guys, keep in mind, probably if Casey really wanted to, and Yaik and Miki were interested, they can get them without anything. The way this is phrased and the way G2 offered it, I think they did it in a way and during a time where this wasn't official, the, the Yike and Mickey news that they are going to bench them. And I think that KC, it's a bad move, I think, to get rid of Kalis. This is your future. And why would you be the team that pays the most experienced players from the last two years into your roster? Like that's not that's not KC DNA right now, bro. Like this, this massive buyout, guys, this massive buyout is to pay for these guys' salary, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really not that, uh, not that enticing of an offer. That's it. I asked my take. I understand why Casey didn't do this because now they are in a position where maybe they can sign. Yeah, I can make it to cheaper contracts. Maybe, right? They are free to go. And then I think that if you're coming into next year, I would rather have Kalist and Han Sama. Not because I think that Kalist is better currently, but because Kalist, he's signed till 2026. This is going to be the face of your club. This is the face of your club, man. 
and Khalid knows, and everybody knows. Khalid didn't want to leave KC anyway. I know that in the article it says so. I think obviously for uh, for that for that uh, conversation. Look, he didn't have a choice. For the story, maybe it's true that he didn't want to leave. But for the story, also, if you're denying this offer, the best thing to put out there for everybody involved, Kalist and the team, is that he should say that he wants to stay. How fucking cool of a story is that for the KC fans? Regardless of if it's true or not. Probably it's true. If, if if Casey agreed to this trade, Casey would just be another org. They wouldn't be Casey, bro. It wouldn't be Casey. So obviously the way you the, the way you get the coolest amount of this is for sure Casey are the ones that leaked the story, bro. Casey for sure leaked the story. For sure they did. Why wouldn't they? How how good does this look for Casey? They wanted our Kalis. Kalis said no. We said no. Bro, how fucking good does that look, bro? Casey fans are gonna eat this up, bro, because it's a fucking it's a cool fucking story, bro. And now Kalis, if he ever beats G2, he's gonna say, fuck you guys, you tried to get me? That's what happens, bro. How long did you know? I've known for maybe like five days. Five days. Nah, probably at the end of this year, guys, they're gonna try to re-sign Kalis for a bigger contract. I think right now Kalis is getting paid peanuts. That's my guess. From, I don't think he's going to getting paid super super well. Let's try to open this again. Oh, the side has just exploded. Guys, the, them being better for one year and having contracts that are very expensive doesn't give them anything. Casey, Casey is building their own story and Kalis is central to that story, guys. He really is. He is central to that story. I don't think I don't think Casey should get rid of that ever. Uh, Casey Casey renewed his contract till 2026 last year November guys 2023 November It was a part of the LEC purchase announcement Right before the stream started that's when the GM of uh, Carmen Corp also reached out to me and said it's happening And then we started our conversation <sighs> the fuck is this take, bro? What the fuck? That was the dumbest shit I've ever read. <laughs> 